how pleasing it is to spend a peaceful New Year's Eve with your loved ones, watching a great film and eating what you love. Welcome to the Movie Medic and in this video, we're gonna be counting down the top 10 best films to watch on New Year's Eve. Number 10. Are we there yet? Full of real laughs, a clean comedy with a cute storyline. It may not be an award-winning film, but it is full of entertainment. Mister, you got any Yu-Gi-Oh? What you think? You got any Dragon Ball GT? Look, you come in here every day asking the same questions. We ain't got no Pokemon, no Digimon, no Buffy, no SpongeBob, no Beanie Babies, and no Shoplifters. Now get both of y'all, get it! It follows the story of a man named Nick Persons, played by Ice Cube who tries to impress a divorced woman by taking her kids on an extended road trip, but unaware of the torture he's getting himself into. Nick, we already know about you and Mom. You do? Of course, she talks about you all the time. Yeah, Mom's in here. She said you're better looking than Tay Diggs. Oh yeah? I am, huh? It's lighthearted, funny, with some slapstick and a rude humor. If you're looking to be entertained along with your family, then you're looking at the right film. You two, if I didn't volunteer to babysit you two little demons, this wouldn't have never happened, and I still have my car. Number 9. New Year's Evil Personally, whenever I think about this film, I always think why is it so underrated? I mean, it has almost everything you would expect from a New Year based horror film. Alright, it's time now for you about for the top new wave hit of here. Give us a call, and I must have you already know our number from our regular Saturday show. It focuses on the story of a woman who receives a call on which she's told that when New Year strikes in each time zone, someone will be murdered, and she'll be the last one. Do you have a vote for the top song of the year? No. Just a New Year's resolution. I'm going to commit murder at midnight. I'm going to kill... If you think that horror movies are not just for Halloween, then this film could be the one for you. Number 8. 200 Cigarettes It's one of those fun party flicks that hinges on its brilliant cast. Well, let me tell you something, Jack. You are cursed. Just not the way you think you are. Well, then how? It depicts the story of a group of 20-somethings trying to cope up with relationship, loneliness, desire, and their individual neurosis. Well, if you're still looking for a reason to watch it, then there are not just one, but two best reasons. Paul Rudd and Ben Affleck. Look, what happened between us last night is like this ongoing problem with me. It, it happens all the time. I meet someone, we go home together, but then the next day it's... What? Next day what? Well, they tell me that suddenly they develop these feelings for me. Number 7. Snowpiercer Who cares if trains don't work like that? Why does it need to be believable? After all, it's a science fiction film. This is so disappointing. C'est trop décevant. C'est une muy grande désillusion. Just a manama. No, no, we don't need all that. I've only got seven minutes. It depicts the story of a dystopian world where climate change has forced all of the humanity to live on a moving train, where groups of people are divided on class system. That's enough. We're not gonna spoil the rest of the story for you. Would you wear a shoe on your head? Of course you wouldn't wear a shoe on your head. A shoe doesn't belong on your head. A shoe? belongs on your foot. A hat belongs on your head. I am a hat. You are a shoe. Director Bong Joon-ho, sorry for the mispronunciation if I made, did an impeccable direction here. Another reason to watch it is Captain America, uh, I mean Chris Evans. You ever been to the tail section? Do you have any idea what went on back there? When we boarded? Number 6. The Poseidon Adventure The first real disaster film to set these standards. For a film that is almost 4 decades old, The Poseidon Adventure is still so effective that it would cause anyone planning to go on a cruise think twice. Alright, alright. Right. Logo? Yeah. Bring him down this way. Alright, everybody down this way. Come oh. on, baby. Oh, this is a bunch of crap. We're sinking and nothing's gonna keep us from drowning. It's a story of 9 people who explore a cruise ship in order to get out of it as a huge wave hits and turns the ship upside down. This little hole, as you call it, is going to get us out of here and up the Broadway. We've climbed four decks so far. We've got two more to go. This is the only way out. The shaky camera doesn't always work, but in this one, it really gives us a sense that we're actually on a ship. The film really packs some great special effects for that time when VFX or CGI were not quite a thing. At the end, the film is still a masterpiece and it always will be.
Number 5. Carol. A great love and life story about one woman fighting for her right to be happy and the other one trying to figure out how can she really be happy without realizing that they are the answer to their question. And your first name? Therese. Therese? Not Teresa? No. Therese Balavet. It's lovely. And yours? Carol. Carol. This Oscar-nominated film follows the story of an aspiring photographer who develops an intimate relationship with an older woman. I wonder if you might help me find this doll for my daughter. Bright Betsy. Oh, she cries and wets herself. But I'm afraid we're all out of stock. At the end, it all comes down to the leading duo's unforgettable and brilliant performances. Harge bought me a bottle years ago before we were married and I've been wearing it ever since. Harge is your husband? Mm-hmm. Well, technically, we, we're divorcing. I'm sorry. Don't be. Number four, trading places. Well, New Year is a time to share joy, happiness, and laughs. And this entertaining, thoroughly enjoyable, and highly recommendable movie has all of this. Billy Ray's vase, right? I own this vase, and I can play like Harlem Globe try to shit with it, right? Okay, you want Mellow Lemon shit, right? <laughs> Hey man, I'm sorry about that. It follows the story of an investor and a corn artist who find their positions reversed as a part of a bet by two millionaires. Coleman, I've had the most absurd nightmare. I was poor and no one liked me. I lost my job, I lost my house. Penelope hated me. It was all because of this terrible, awful Everything is great about this film. The high quality of acting from both the main actors and everyone around, the greater humor and the development of the plot. At the end, it doesn't fail to give you some of the greatest and memorable moments. This man's obviously a lunatic. I'm calling security. Put that phone down. Hello, security. Merry Christmas. Number three, After the Thin Man. It's been almost more than eight decades since the release of this film, but it still feels fresh as it was then and today. Would you know that this is New Year's? I know. Oh, oh, you got ideas, huh? Very definite ideas. It's a story of a man who investigates the case of a missing person and later a mother that is somehow connected to his wife. Pinch me. Why? Pinch me. It is true. What? We're alone. It's a large comedy that is by no means should be taken seriously. It's pretty and funny little flick. Watch it with someone you love the most. Well, you see, it's New Year's Eve, Aunt Catherine. The old battle axe. Shut up. Excuse me, Aunt Catherine. I was talking to the dog. Number two, about time. Ever wish that you could just go back in time and undo everything you did wrong? Well, the main character in this film can. I hope I see you again. You will. Okay. Good. Good night. It follows the story of Tim, who discovers that he can time travel and change what happens and has happened in his life. Tim, my dear son, uh, there's this family secret. And the secret is that the men in the family can travel in time. It's quite witty, intelligent, charming and sweet film with surprising depth and heart. Okay, I have some bad news. You're dying. No, not that bad. I'm dying? No. Before we see what do we have at number one, here are some admirable mentions. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. No, no, no. Nice. Wow, hey, guys. man. Sweet. Nice place. Guys, dude. guys, guys. I, I really appreciate you coming all the way down here, but... Do you have any weed? No, seriously, I can't go out tonight. Okay, I have my biggest med school interview ever tomorrow morning. Will you join me for dinner? You've taken me as your prisoner, and now you want to have dinner with me? I'd starve before I ever ate with you. What, what happened? happened? Break-in, I'm afraid. Very common this time of year. A place like this is a prime target. Mm, lovely it is. Mm. Is that a crocodile with pom-poms? Hey, why don't you have a seat? Uh, no. It's my branch, so I prefer to stand. Fine. Allison, would you please remove Clay's chair? Uh, sure. Thank you. The same thing happens every time, where I get interrupted because someone wants to get a sandwich. Maybe I'm not good enough. We publish content like this every week. So, if you're really into movies, then you should consider subscribing to our channel. And if you're really enjoying what you're watching, then don't forget to like this video. Number one, Boogie Nights. Uh, well, it's not a kind of film you want to watch with your family. I don't want to make a film. 
where they show up, they sit down, they off, and they get up and they get out before the story ends. It follows the story of Eddie Adams, played by Mark Wahlberg, who begins to work in this industry. But when he gets on the peak of his career, this happens. Oh f Go back, go back, go back! No! So if you're planning to watch it, then get ready, because this film will make you laugh, tense and cry. What do you think? Which is the best film to watch on New Year's Eve? Tell us in the comment section. At the end, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We hope it's happy for real this time.